Good morning, Beville. This is Cindy Clark from PACB TV. I'm here for an episode of Did You Know? And this morning we have Joe Saracini from the Shakespeare Museum, who's going to give us a little breakdown, explanation, history of the Shakespeare and of the Baldwin's Valeria. Thanks, Joe. Welcome. Thanks for having me, Cindy. All right. Well, you tell me. We'll just start right at the beginning. Uh, because I, I don't know if a lot of people are that familiar with Shakespeare. So you you tell me what you know as far as how it started, why it got started, that type of thing. Well, um, as far as the, the exact date of when it started, I'm not sure. Um, the location of the Shakespeare Museum is on Canton Street, mm -hmm. and, and that's off of Downer Street. Uh, and it's an or organization, um, it's dedicated to preserve the past for the benefit of the future. It's a history organization, and as you know, history is important. Um, so for anybody who's new to the community or maybe you've lived here your whole life and you're not aware of it, it's a great organization to visit, uh, get involved with, get involved with obviously uh, volunteers are the, are the heart and soul of the organization. And again, they're dedicated to preserve the history of our great community. Oh, and it is a great community, isn't it? it? There's it a lot of history here. Now, it's my understanding that you it's a little close to home with you. You have some family history with relatives involved either heavily locally in the history and the Civil War. Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, so I guess at an early age, I was uh, introduced to history through my, uh, my uncle Bob, Robert Nostrand. He was the historian for the town of Lysander. Mm -hmm. And, you know, every time we get together, he'd give me a tidbit of history about the community, and it just really it enthralled me and um, kind of stuck with me. Um, so yeah, the, the connection with the Civil War is that I had two great, 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 I think it's three great uncles that uh, actually died on uh, died in the Battle of Gettysburg, one on the first day and one on the third day. Um, so, you know, I've always been fascinated with with you know the the, the beginnings of this community, and and we really do have a, a an amazing history. I mean, not a lot of people know that the centrifugal pump was invented in Baldwinsville, and that was a pump that helped dig out the Panama Canal and win World War II. Cool. You know, it, it's, you know, not a lot of people know that our first mayor, uh, or the first mayor of the city of Syracuse was a Baldwin from Baldwinsville. Not a lot of people know that the village of Baldwinsville was incorporated the same year as the city of Syracuse. Uh, so, I mean, it's just, I could go on and on about neat little tidbits about this community. And it's, it's not just the village of Baldwinsville, it's the town of Van Buren and it's the town of Lysander. We just have, uh, and, and the Shaxboro Museum uh, celebrates that and they do a great job. Oh, they year. certainly do. And they have a lot of events that are different than most events that you see. Now, what are some of the things that, I know COVID has affected us, but what were some of the events that were real popular with them? Yeah, for years, I mean, the Peony Fest was, was you know, every spring. Um, or early summer, June, around mm -hmm. June. I think you're right. Yep, yeah. yep. And, and that was held right at the uh, the schoolhouse in the park, McCary Park, right next door. Now, this year, there won't be a peony fest, uh, but they are uh, selling peonies um, June 4th. That's the peony okay. blossom sale. Okay. And prior to that, they have a trunk sale at the museum, and that's May 7th. And that's, uh, that's a free event for people to come out and do some shopping. Um, I think all the slots are, are already taken as far as vendors go. Um, those, so, those sold out pretty quick. But they throw a lot of events um, just, to, just so that people know that they exist and, and so that they can raise money. Um, obviously, you know, it takes some money yes, to, uh, it does. to preserve and this. And volunteers. This, and yes, volunteers. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, it's just a great organization um, with, with dedicated individuals. Um, you know, Sue McManus. She's been there for great years, job, hasn't you know, she? Yes, years. You know, yeah. Bonnie Kisselstein. Yes, yes. You know, the historian, I think, well, now for the You've been there for a standard. long time, too. You've been with the, with the Shakespeare for how many years now? Geez, you know, I don't, my family's been members of the, I, I couldn't even tell you, but, you know, decades. You know, my, my whole family. So, I'm, my last name's Saracini, so the Saracenis have only been in country for, I don't know, 80 years or so, but the Nostrants, yeah, the there's Nostrans an age. are fifth generation village of Baldwinsville. I didn't know that so either. There's, Very so, interesting. So my kids, there's myself, there's my mom, Nostrand, there's my grandfather, my great grandmother. That's five. It might be six. So, 
you know, it's just it's it's been ingrained in all of us and in, in, in our whole family to to appreciate the great history that we've got here. And we do have a lot of history. This is a wonderful area, and there I'm so glad that there's people that are willing to put their time in to preserve all that because the younger generation they have to know they they have to know where they come from and where it all started for them too and why we are here where where we are today. It's because we have people like you that come in and understand the importance of the whole area history. And thank you very much, I appreciate that. Now, we have in front of us, what, what, what do we have here, Joe? So, you know, another, uh, uh, another opportunity to support the museum is to purchase one of these uh, puzzles. They've got a number of puzzles. You know, they've got some puzzles that have, are 350 piece puzzles. They've got others that are a thousand piece and they range in price from $12 to $18. So on those rainy days when you don't have a lot going on and you, you want to spend some time putting together a puzzle that celebrates the history of the village of Baldwinsville and, and greater Baldwinsville, you can Here, pick I'll one of these things up. up. Yep. Yep. And of course, they're always yep. open Great to new puzzles. members. Yep. Yep. You're always, they're always looking for volunteers too, just like everybody. Yep. They also, they also you can they have a buy a brick program. Um, if you want to memorialize a loved one or family member, um, the jigsaw puzzles, and they also have custom apparel that you can purchase at the uh, at the museum. Now, what are typically hours? Do you know? I mean, is it like every day or weekends or? Well, because of COVID, they are, they have modified hours, but they still they are open uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday noon to four. Okay. And their phone number is three one five six three eight two four five two. They've also got a. Uh, a, a pretty cool website. It's www.shacksboroughmuseum.com. S H A C K S B O R O museum.com. It's great, and it if is. you get a, if you get a chance to go over there, it takes you back. It is like a trip in, back in time. It's actually a schoolhouse. It was actually that's a schoolhouse yeah, that right. moved to that location. They, they moved it. And, yeah, they picked it up. Drove it down the highway wow. and dropped it in McCary Park. I, that I didn't know. Not McCary Park. Yeah, McCary Park. Yeah, because yeah. 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 Uh, I'm, I'm learning things today, too, and I've been over there many times, but if you get an opportunity to go to this museum, it's right off Downer, uh, Downer Street on Cant Street uh, to on the right, and it's the cutest little place that you ever want to spend some time, and it's really worth, worth your effort to go there. So as far as the, the future now, we've got the, the flowers, the peony flower, and then the trunk sale. The trunk sale. Okay, that's, yep. that's of the immediate nature. Yep. Okay. All right, just wanted to be sure that we had everything there. And Joe, I, I thank you so much. Now we'll have this on, Pat will have this on uh, YouTube, Facebook, our site, very shortly, also on the station, Spectrum 98, Fios 30. So keep an eye on the schedule. Watch out. You can go to the site www.pacb.org to find out when uh, this get when it's going to be on TV. Then you can also jump into YouTube to check it out there as well. And so there's many ways that you can view this and get a little bit of knowledge. And if you get a chance, take a, take a drive over to the museum because it's well worth the time spent. And again, Joe Saracini, thank you very much. Thanks Appreciate for your me. time and effort. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you.